Hey guys, welcome to this exciting new course, Applied Web Development with PHP. I am your instructor, Trevor Williams. In this course, you will be learning the fundamentals of web application development using HTML, CSS, PHP, Apache uh, server, and hosting tools such as Heroku and cPanel. Of course, all of that wouldn't be complete without tying it in with a MySQL database so that we can have a fully dynamic and data-driven app web application. By the end of this course, you should be able to accomplish basic web development with HTML and CSS, set up a ZAMP server, understand the role of PHP in web applications, build a MySQL database using PHP MyAdmin, and all of that would help you to build a data-driven and dynamic web applications. We'll be looking at PHP PDO and how to style our application using the most popular CSS framework, Bootstrap. Ultimately, we would want to incorporate the use of source control through the use of GitHub and ultimately host our web application on Heroku. Most other courses will teach you how to understand PHP, how to do the basics of PHP, but they don't really show you the end-to-end -end development process. And that is what we hope to accomplish in this course. At the end of this course, you should be empowered and equipped with all the tools you need to build any application that is asked of you. Now, before we go much further, I want us to take the next few minutes to understand the tools that we'll be using and how exactly they work in the whole web development ecosystem. Now, let's start with PHP. PHP is an open source web scripting language, which is used mostly for server side stuff. And it is short for hypertext preprocessor or personal homepage. PHP is designed to be fully embedded in HTML and manipulate HTML as you, the developer, so desires. If you have any exposure to any other programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, or Java, then you'll find that it's very familiar working with PHP. If this is your first time working with any programming language, then that's fine because we will be starting from the ground up. The next big ticket item would be ZAMP server. And ZAMP is really short for, well, the X really means any environment. Uh, the basis of ZAMP server is really what we call the LAMP stack. That's L-A-M-P. And the L really means Linux, the A, Apache, M, MySQL, and P, PHP, or Perl. So ZAMP is really just an adoption of the LAMP stack onto other operating systems such as Windows and Mac OS, since LAMP, the L, stands for Linux. And it is the most popular PHP development environment. It's a one-stop shop. You install ZAMP and then you get the Apache server, which is required to host PHP code. Uh, you get MySQL, which is a database server, and you get all the required libraries for PHP and, well, Perl. But we'll be doing PHP, so we'll focus on the PHP libraries. And more recently, the M also means MariaDB, which is a spin-off of the more popular MySQL database engine. Now here we take a quick look at what HTML and CSS and PHP will look like. Well, this code snippet has no CSS in it just yet, but there you see that you have some HTML, which is the black text, and then you have the PHP tags that were previously alluded to, and some code which would print some text inside of an HTML page. Traditionally, HTML pages have the extension .html or .htm. When we're using PHP, these files will have the extension .php. And these PHP tags will only work in .php files. But as we go along and we get into more development stuff, then you'll see how that works. Now, every step of the way, we will want to track our progress, and we will be doing this using source control and more specifically through GitHub. Now, GitHub or by extension source control allows you to track changes to your project, collaborate with team members if you have to work in a team setting instead of copying and pasting code files, you can just upload to a central place that everybody has access to all of your changes. We can also manage project documentation centrally. At the end of the day, GitHub is probably the most 
popular and also free source control tool that is on the internet and it's widely accessible, widely available to everybody. And once again, it's free of charge. The last thing I want to mention is Heroku, which allows us to deploy PHP web applications in minutes and we can host the web application as well as the database all on Heroku. We'll also be looking at using the more traditional route, which is cPanel. I didn't allude to it here, but as we get into the course, we will see how valuable those tools are. Once again, we have an exciting journey ahead of us, and I hope you stick around and I hope you apply yourself. At the end of this course, you should be able to take on any challenge that comes towards you in PHP web application development.